Watoto hello, 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 back at home. I know you are watching. Be blessed. Do not forget to pray because God always answers children's prayers. And through your prayers, God will deliver us from this that hinder us from coming to church. Sit down and listen to your teacher's story. Your teacher today is Stella. Be blessed. And before that, we are going to pray and then we get our story. We are praying. How I even the master, we thank you, God of heaven, for enable us, Lord, to see this beautiful Sabbath as we want to listen to children's story. God of heaven, descend. Bless us with the Holy Spirit to enable us to understand whatever we're going to discuss here. For this is my prayer in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hello. Yeah. Sit down and enjoy my story. We have two people here. My story is about two people, and both of them are men. So the first person in a a huge person, a big person, a, a, a giant person that if you met on the way when you were going to school, you'll definitely run back to the house and hide. And another person is a small boy. A small boy just like you at home. And we want to get what happened about the story of these two men. We are having two groups. And two groups, there's a group of people, they were coming to war. They were coming for war, and then, they, they, so they were to bring their heroes. The other group brought this huge man, and the other group brought this small boy. So uh, they were like, uh, the, the, the group that brought their huge man was like, they were relaxed. They were, they were, not, even, they were not even having any problem because they always win in every war that they go when they are having this hero of theirs. And then there's, there's, there's a group that brought a small boy. I know you are, you, you are able to know whatever I'm talking about. And this story, definitely at the end, you'll tell me what's the title of my story. Or I will tell you because you are at home, you will not be able to tell me. Yes, so the group that was having this huge man huh, was called Philistines. And this, the, the group that was having this small boy was Israelites. So Philistine used to win many victory, many wars they were to win because they were having this huge man. I'm going to tell you the name. So they were brought to war now. And this small boy came, he was not even having so many clothes the way they used to put on when they're going for war. And this other man dressed as usually because it, he has been doing that and he's used to it. So people were like, these Philistines were waiting for the man that they, they had the group was to, to bring to them. Because already with them, they're good. They're having their huge man, their big man. And they don't even hesitate because they know the victory is theirs. So I want to surprise you. You know, this small boy just come and was like, he never even hesitated seeing the huge man. The huge man here, I know you can even tell me his name, but let me tell you for today, he is called Goliath. And the other small boy is called David. Enjoy my story back at home. You know what? David come and he was not even like uh, uh, somebody is going to, to fight. He just dressed normally and Goliath was ready for the fight. You know, David was having somebody superior than the person that Philistine always depend on. David was having God. Do not always forget to have God. Whenever you are, when you are hitting at home, when you are playing, when you are praying, do not forget that God always should be our first priority. Then David, just, David was just having three stones and a sling. But, but Goliath was not even, uh, was relaxed, like I'm just waiting that, the thing that those people will bring to fight me. And people were surprised, like, hey, when, when, when they brought there, when they brought David, well, they were like, hey, this is the thing that this, this group has brought for us to fight. Huh? But they were not. Uh, they were not. They were. They were. They were very much surprised. But Israelites were not surprised because they were. They, they knew very well that the person that they have chosen is a God chosen man, not any other ordinary man. Goliath relaxed. David used his three stone and the sling 
to fight against Goliath. When he put the, the three stones in that sling, he threw it and finally Goliath fell down when he was head at the head. He was, he was hit at the head. He fell down and people were like, hey, what are we seeing? Is this huge man down? We can't believe this. With only a stone. Oh, God of heaven. God has already delivered Israel from Philistines. And people were like, hey, we are now finished. We are dead. We have nothing to do. Our hero is dead. What will we do now? People were like, oh, Philistines were like, we are dead. We don't have any other option. We are dead. We are just walking dead human beings because they are hero. They are dependent. The person that they depend on is already down and Philistines were like they were running away. They were just, they were hopeless. They were having no any other hope because their hope, what they depend on was just Goliath. My story is all about believing in God, the person that is always there for us children. Do not forget to pray. Do not forget to have God closer every now and then. When you're doing anything, remember God first. Remember God first. My story is coming from the book of First Samuel, the whole chapter of 16 and 17. With the help of your parent, they will help you understand the story. But do not forget that God can always use any other person. The person that don't even, people don't, don't even think about, God will use that person. Even you at home, the way you are small, the way you think that God doesn't understand you, God can use you to deliver his own people. And that's my story. Be blessed. We are praying to end our story. God of heaven, we thank you. Almighty Lord, for enable us, Lord, to come to the end of the children's story. May this story find a place in their heart, in their bodies, and in their daily lives, God, as they grow to know you more. Be with us now and forever. For this is my prayer in Jesus' name, I pray.